So one of the fastest ways to get your authority to increase is to try using it. Of course, there'll be times that you fail. Remember, the disciples had a failure. We've looked at it in Mark chapter 9. Jesus had been training them for a long time at that point, probably two and a half years or so. They had ministered with him. He'd given them this very authority over demons. And yet, when he went up on the Mount of Transfiguration and was not with them, they had what we would call an epic fail. It was a catastrophic failure trying to drive that evil spirit out of that boy who would go into seizures and become mute and then roll around and get thrown into fire to burn him or water to drown him. Jesus had to come back and sort it all out. So you might have some failures. Don't worry about it. Keep learning. There's nothing you learn to do in life that you will learn to do without making some mistakes. If you've ever learned to ride a bike, you know if you fall off, you, get, you pick yourself up, you might have a scrape knee or an elbow, and you get back on the bike. Same thing if you're learning to ride a horse. Or how about learning to hit a tennis ball? It goes on and on. This business of driving out demons, there's anointing in it. There is spiritual gifting in it. But there's also acquired skill. And these two go together. Many times people think that the things of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit are purely about anointing, but they're not. They are also about what you've learned to do and how to respond in situations. There's a kind of wisdom and seasoning that comes through failure as well as through victory. And so just get going with it. And as you do, you will find that your authority grows.